Harlan was a successful pimp in the seedy underbelly of Las Vegas. He had a stable of beautiful women that he controlled with an iron fist, and he was feared by all who knew him. But Harlan had a weakness, he couldn't resist the allure of the bright lights and endless booze that Vegas had to offer. One night, after a particularly wild bender, Harlan stumbled back to his hotel room. He was so drunk that he could hardly stand, and as he stumbled through the door, he felt a strange, creeping sensation creeping over him. He brushed it off as just the booze and passed out on his bed. When Harlan woke up the next morning, he felt like death warmed over. His head was pounding and his body ached, but he knew he had to get back to business. As he got dressed, he noticed that something was different. He couldn't quite put his finger on it, but he felt wrong. Harlan shrugged it off and headed out to his usual haunts. But as the day wore on, he began to notice something even more disturbing. Everywhere he went, people were avoiding him. They would cross the street to avoid him or quickly turn away when he approached. Harlan didn't understand. He was the feared Harlan. What could they possibly be afraid of? That night, as Harlan sat alone in his hotel room, the truth finally hit him. He had been possessed by a demon during his wild night of drinking. The demon had taken over his body and now controlled his every move. Harlan was trapped, a prisoner in his own body, unable to control his own actions. He screamed into the night, his terrifying screams echoing through the empty streets of Vegas, but no one was there to hear his pleas for help. He was doomed to spend the rest of his days as the servant of the demon that had taken over his body, and his soul was lost forever in the city of sin.